Good morning, friends. It's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Wednesday, October 12th, 2016. I'm going to try to get through today's Daily Dash without crying. Okay, first of all, let me bring you what you need to know so you are in the know from around the water for around the water cooler and in Carline today. So, um, more Clinton emails have been leaked. Uh, they're saying there may be some sort of Russian tie to this. We're not going to speculate on that. Um, humanitarian efforts. Thank you, Kelly. Good morning. Um, Humanitarian efforts desperately needed in Haiti after the wake of Hurricane Matthew. And on a happy note, uh, the Cubs have made it to the playoffs. So you may be wondering why I'm wearing this shirt. Today is the one year anniversary of my dad's death. And this was his shirt. And he always loved when I wore my hair in a French braid. Um, probably not like this because he was a practical guy and he just didn't understand why women had long hair in general because that took too long. And so every time I would go see him because I didn't want to cut my hair short, I would wear it in a French braid because he thought that was very practical. And so this is my homage to my dad. Um, and yes, he was living with my brother when he passed and they, um, love the Clippers. And so... Um, this is just a little way to be uh, closer to him today. So, uh, brought a picture. This was my last picture I had with my dad um, before he passed. I got to see him about a year before he passed when I got to go out to Los Angeles for the Disney Social Media Moms event. And so that was the last picture I had with him alive. And so I may share some pictures today just to keep the memory alive, but it's been interesting, um, to think about when you lose someone, it makes you reflective, not only on their life, but of your life. And for me, it's made me think, am I embracing the best of him? Am I remembering the best of him? Am I, um, making him proud? Am I embodying the lessons that he taught me? And it is funny how the things that you disagreed on or the differences fade away. Uh, and it's also made me more appreciative of those that I do have around me and not waiting uh, as I end here every day, I say what I say at the end, specifically um, after I lost my dad last year, about not waiting to tell someone you love how you feel about them. So I, I'm trying not to beat myself up, but I think, what have I done since last year? It's interesting because I've been saying for a long time now, oh, I lost my dad. Woo, look at me. I haven't looked at myself. Um, I lost my dad six months ago. And so the fact that it's a year kills me. I don't know why I even bothered putting eye makeup on right now. That will, there you go. That brings me back to reality, not to cry. Okay. So I read this. I know I always put a little, um, I put the verse I'm memorizing below in the replay and I put, um, something from Oswald Chambers, but I read this specifically today from Oswald Chambers. And it said, getting into God's stride means nothing less than oneness with him. It takes a long time to get there, but keep at it. Don't give up because the pain is intense right now. Get on with it. And before long, you will find that you have a new vision and a new purpose. So just want to encourage any of you going through a tough spot today. I feel you. It's just that it's a spot. And um, don't let it define the line that your life is. So I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great and don't wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends. Oh, thanks, friend. Appreciate that. Mwah. Love to you all. Bye.